Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about how to use stored procedures in SSRS report. First of all, why we need a stored procedures? Why we have to use a stored procedures? So why can't we use direct queries? We have a comfort to use a direct queries in SSRS reports. See, first of all, stored procedure is nothing but block of statements. So when you have a block of statements for easy maintenance, we create procedures. So whenever you want to use, if you call that procedure, then you will get a required result. Second point is stored procedure contains block of statements and those are pre-compiled statements. But when you run a query, Every time you need to wait for compile time as well as you need to wait for execution time. The total time you need to wait, then only you can see the result. But when you call the procedure, so that is a pre-compiled code. You do not need to wait for compilation time. It might be a second or a minute or might be a milliseconds, but you do not need to spend to do the compilation here. So it's a pre-compiled code. And for easy maintenance as well, we use a stored procedures. Now, in our SSRS, how to use stored procedures? So let me create a stored procedures in a SQL server and then I'll go for a, a, a report design. So here I have a table with the name of employee. Okay, so let's take it and see. This is a table uh, I have uh, with the name of employee. So I can directly put this uh, query in the report. But as I mentioned, um, to save the compilation time, I'm going to use a procedure only. Let's create a procedure. It's a easy, easy only. Okay. So create procedure. Uh, proc uh, name of the procedure is uh, sp underscore uh, get emps employees. Yes. Uh, select um, star from emp. Okay. So here I am keeping as star since it's a practice uh, session, but ideally in the real time, you need to keep the list of columns. Okay. Even though you need all the columns, better to keep all the column names here. Okay. So let's uh, execute this processor is created and compiled and created. Okay. And it is ready to execute now. So whenever I call the processor, it won't compile again. Okay. So now let's execute it. Mm. So, so this is how uh, we will be. Uh, executing the procedures actually if you see okay xcc space procedure name okay let's run this you will be getting same result there's no change because the same query i'm keeping in the procedures uh, okay inside the procedure so now the procedure is ready let's quickly come to the um, uh, sql server data tools and design a report let's go to the visual studio or sql server data tools okay so let's quickly come here and um, uh, take the existing project or you can create a new project. So I'm taking existing project. Let's quickly come to solution explorer and create a new report for our example, new item. Okay. Mm. I'm going to make it as a stored uh, proc. P -R -O -C proc dot RDL. RDL is nothing but extension of a report. Okay. I'm just creating a new report with the name of stored dot uh, stored proc dot RDL. Okay. So this is a report. I'm just keeping I'm just uh, keeping a bit more space for the report body than others okay so let's uh, remove this ruler okay I just remove the ruler now let's quickly create a data source it's a common for every report so here I'll be using SSRS 2019 I'm using Visual Studio 2019 okay so to design my reports the process is same even if you go for 2012 2014 16 or 17 versions okay so let's quickly come here and change the SQL Server, uh, provide the dot and uh, database name is examples. Examples, okay. Test connection, okay, okay, and okay. Click on here and ideally choose to change the authentication. Let's go back, test, okay, okay, okay. Now let's come to the data set. So here uh, I'm, I don't have any shared data sets. So let's come to a use a data set embedded in my report. Select the data source one, obviously. I'm going with the name as dataset one only. And here you have two options, text. Text means you are, if you are planning to keep a plain query, you have to use this option. 
okay if you want to go for a stored procedures let's select the stored procedure and if you see here you can see the list of available procedures i have two procedures but my procedure is sp underscore get emps select that you can refresh fields so okay once you click on refresh fields you can see the list of fields which are about to come from a procedure okay Sorry, click on okay so now the procedure uh, yeah linked to the data set data set is ready to do the report design so this is a place where we are going to design the report now okay let's go to the toolbox uh, drag and drop a table here okay let's make it as bigger or something like that let's uh, select them uh, department id uh, employee name whatever the columns i want i'll select this location okay let's click on preview here once i click on preview yeah i got the data okay i am missing the employee id right so let's select the employee id let me remove this okay let's quickly preview yes this is how we are going to get the output so if you want to export this report or if you want to print the report you can click on this if you want to export this you can export into word excel powerpoint pdf tip file mhtml csv and xml uh, file with report data and you can add even as a feed okay so the page setup and all feed also you can do it so this is how we do design a rep SSS report by using stored versions and you can add even styles as well select this and you add uh, white background colors or some whatever you want or bold italic underline okay i'm just keeping this just for safe thing okay this is how we are going to do this so that's all about it so if you have any questions please drop your question in the comment section i will try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more uh, technical updates that's it thank you thank you for watching